In a narration found in, Sahih Muslim, number 196, the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, advised that Islam, is sincerity towards, Allah, the exalted, his book, meaning, the Holy Quran, to the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, to the leaders of society, and to the, general public. Sincerity towards Allah, the exalted, includes fulfilling, all the duties given by him, in the form of, commands, and prohibitions, solely for his pleasure. As confirmed in a narration, found in, Sahih Bukhari, number one, all will be judged, by their intention. So if one is not sincere, towards Allah, the exalted, when performing deeds, they will gain no reward, in this world, or the next. According to a narration, found in, Jami, R. Tirmizi, 3154, those who performed, insincere deeds, will be told on judgment day, to seek their reward, from those who they acted for, which will not be possible. Chapter 98, verse 5. <laughs> And they were not commanded except to worship Allah, being sincere to him in religion, inclining to truth. If one is lax, in fulfilling their duties, towards Allah, the exalted, it proves a lack of sincerity, and one must therefore, sincerely repent, and struggle to fulfill them, all. It is important, to bear in mind, Allah, the exalted, never burdens one with duties, they cannot perform, or handle. Chapter 2, verse 286. Allah does not charge a soul except with that within its capacity. Being sincere towards Allah, the Exalted, means one should always choose his pleasure over the pleasure of themselves and others. A Muslim should always give priority to those actions which are for the sake of Allah, the Exalted, over all else. One should love others, and dislike their sins, for the sake of Allah, the Exalted, rather than, their own desires. When they help others, or refuse, to take part in sins, it should be for the sake, of Allah, the Exalted. The one who adopts, this mentality has perfected, their faith. This is confirmed, in a narration found in, Sanan, Abu, Dawood, Old, number 4681. As for sincerity, towards the Holy Quran, it includes, having deep respect, and love, for the words of Allah, the Exalted. This sincerity, is proven when one fulfills, the three aspects, of the Holy Quran. The first, is to recite it regularly, the second, is to understand it, through a reliable source, and the final aspect, is to act on the teachings, of the Holy Quran. The sincere Muslim, gives priority, to acting on its teachings, over acting on their desires, which contradict, the Holy Quran. Modeling one's character, on the Holy Quran, which is the tradition, of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, which is confirmed, in a narration, found in, Sunan, Abu, Dawood, number 1342, is the sign, of one's true sincerity, towards the Book of Allah, the Exalted. The next podcast, in this series, will continue, discussing this narration.